we tend to overlook the subconscious mind. But when you talk about an emotion, it's not just a thing you feel the way it's, you have a thought. You know, I'm thinking I should do my laundry. You know, it's a thought. Uh, when you have an emotion, there's a whole chemical reaction that goes on. Um, again, a saber tooth tiger comes up, your conscious mind goes, hmm, I should probably get away before it eats me. Whereas your subconscious mind has immediately not only generated a feeling, but the feeling has come with a major release of adrenaline. And I mean, it, this, is, this is an actual physical chemical thing going on that's almost going to force you to jump up and run. And the thing with things like post-traumatic stress disorders and anxiety disorders is that it's a feeling and an emotion, but it causes a burst of adrenaline and other chemicals. So there's actually a physical chemical thing going on in the body to force a physical reaction. So feelings are very strong. Um, feelings also deal with the way your mind organizes your uh, memories. And if you've ever had a day where um, you wake up and you feel great, you know, it's, it's just one of those days and everything is good, and you're going down the street and you're on your way to work and just everything is nice. And now, in the course of the day, maybe some things come up that aren't so nice, but you don't really deal with them. You know, it's like, I feel good, all right, that's not a problem, I'll deal with that tomorrow. You know, it's just, today, I feel good. And it tends to be you attract more things that feel good. But then there are those other days. You may wake up and you, well, you don't quite feel so good, you know? Or maybe, I don't know, you woke up and you had pain or you just some, you remembered something annoyed you, somebody called you, you didn't want to talk to, and, you know, and it really puts you in this bad mood and everything bothers you. You ever have one of those days? And it seems like the more everything bothers you, the more things appear that bother you. And what's happening is, um, well, possibly you're actually attracting things based on your emotions. Um, there's certainly a possibility to that. But unarguably, what's happening is the emotional state you're in creates a filter for what you perceive around you. Uh, here's a fun one, actually. Um, take a minute and look around the room and notice how many brown things there are in this room. Take a count, it doesn't have to be accurate, just get close. You guys got it? Okay, look straight ahead, the question is, how many blue things did you see? Anybody? Oh, I got a blue shirt on. He's got a blue shirt on. She's got a blue shirt. You don't notice because you were looking for the brown things. Right? So if you're having a bad day and you're thinking, I feel bad, and it's going to color the filters of your, your uh, senses as to what's bad, you're just going to see all the bad things. But if you're filtering for good stuff, the same stuff is always in the room. But when you're filtering for the good stuff, you're going to notice the good stuff. And so being able to control the, your emotions and the way you feel about things, um, to a certain degree, I mean, you know, it, it's, uh, you know, reasonably can't always control things, but most of the time we can control things better than, um, than we do when we're not working on it. Um, by controlling how you feel and how you feel about things, you actually can filter for what you perceive in your environment. And if it comes to things like trying to get something you want, um, trying to do a business deal, trying just to make your life better in any way, if you're feeling really good about something, and at a subconscious level it's making you filter for things that feel really good, then it just stands to reason you're going to notice more of the really good things and the good opportunities in your environment. And on top of that, if the law of attraction really does work, and it, it may, I've had some strange experiences that it seems to, that's just like the cherry on top. That's just even accelerating it even more. So um, being able to be aware of your, um, your emotions and your feelings are a very cool thing. And if you guys want to jump into a little meditation right now, we can just kind of start thinking about like what's positive. Um, we're going to try to build what we call an NLP, a resource state, which is just a good feeling. Right? Now you guys look a little tired. It's hump day. It's Wednesday, so you probably had a long week. But take a minute and think about the things that, something positive. Either think of a time where you got something you really wanted, 
no strings attached, right? It's, it's something you really wanted and you got it. And it was just great to have it. You know, and it could have been something recently or something when you were a kid. Because kids are great because kids function at a more subconscious level. Uh, we actually build our personality. And it's about those difficult teenage years that our conscious mind really takes over. Because kids can be very spontaneous and motivated by their feelings. And when they get something they like, you know, especially if it's say something they wanted for their birthday and they got it. I don't know if that ever happened to you or if you've ever just given a kid something. I was like, wow, you know. Or, um, or anything, you know, anything where either you had that feeling or you gave that feeling to somebody else. And uh, just last night, actually, I was coming home. Um, uh, I was downtown, it was, it was actually about 2 in the morning, and some poor old guy walked up and asked me for some change for a cup of coffee, and, and he didn't look like a guy who was very comfortable asking for change, and I reached into my pocket and had one of those dollar coins that you get when you buy a metro card, and so I gave him that, and he was overjoyed, <laughs> I mean, because he expected a quarter, you know, and so I said, hey, here's a buck, you know, and, um, and he thanked me profusely, it made me feel really good, you know. Because um, it was totally unexpected. It could be something that, you know, like that small or just like a little thing, like, you know, finding your favorite pencil or whatever it is. But